Hello fellow aviators, aviation lovers and simulation enthusiasts, welcome to Pilot Dreams channel. Today we're going to learn how to do the before start procedure and your host for today is going to be a real 737 pilot, that would be me. My assumption is that we have completed the previous steps and you can find a link in the description below to the studio preflight procedure, the preflight procedure and the preliminary preflight procedure. Usually we start the procedure after we finished all the calculations for takeoff and we have the v-speeds and the trim. We also completed the cockpit refro of the takeoff and the taxi. So, with no further ado, let's start the procedure. The captain calls before start procedure, please. The procedure starts with checking that the fly door is closed and locked. So, let's take a look back. Here is the fly deck door. Over here is the switch for the fly deck door. We make sure it's guarded down and that the door is closed. If you're not sure, you can see here a little uh, stripe. Just pull it towards you and make sure the door is closed. Second thing we need to check regarding the door and make sure the fly deck door switch is in the auto position and lock fail and auto unlock are both extinguished. Now we know that the fly deck door is closed and locked. The second step will be to complete the CDU preflight procedure. The pilot that is intended to be the pilot monitoring should perform the following actions. Of course, usually we are already finished with that, but if there are something to update, now it's the time to do it. So the pilot monitoring for today is going to be the first officer. Let's turn on his CDU and go to the initref page. Update the zero fuel weight, here it's already updated. Verify that the fuel over here matches your load sheet and your flight brief of course. Verify that the fuel is sufficient for flight, how can you do it? Just verify that the number over here matches your flight plan and you can go to the progress page, check the fuel at the destination and see that it is above the required legal minima. Then verify the gross weight, you can see it over here and make sure the CG matches your load sheet. CG is found over here. The next phase will be setting the two CDU displays. Usually the pilot monitoring will have the legs page, so today it is the first officer, so let's change it to legs. This is for the first officer, and today the captain is pilot flying, and he uses the takeoff ref page. If you don't know how to reach this page, just press init ref, and click uh, twice on the bottom right uh, button, and you're at the takeoff ref pages. Next action, check the N1 bags. You can check the N1 bags over here. You can see this bag and this bag. Both of them say 87.3. And if you don't remember your N1 required for takeoff, again, in the takeoff ref page, you can see it is 87.3. Next step is done by the captain, and this is setting the MCP. First action is arm the auto throttle. Second action is set V2. If you don't remember, again, it is written here in the takeoff ref page. For today, it's 146 knots. So we set the speed for 146 knots. Set the initial heading. Today we're taking off at uh, Eham Amsterdam 18 left and the runway heading is 183. And set the initial attitude. We know the standard instrument departure for today is Arnhem 3 Echo and the flight level is 60. So we set over here 6000. Now the MCP is set. Next step will be to complete the taxi and takeoff briefing. So if something changed, now we'll do a short brief about it. Usually we complete the taxi and takeoff briefing before starting the procedure. If you wanted to do a video about how to conduct the taxi and takeoff briefing, please drop a comment below. The next step will be to make sure the exterior doors are closed. So let's take a look at the doors panel over here above the first officer. We can see the door panels over here. All lights are extinguished. That means all doors are closed. The next step will be to make sure the flight deck window is closed and locked. Both captain and first officer, each one does it for his own side. This is the window here on the side. We can slide it open using this handle. So we push it all the way to the end and make sure it's locked here and the simulator is not operative. The next step will be to obtain the star clearance. This is uh, done by the captain. First we need the clearance to pressurize the hydraulic systems. If a pushback is required and the nose gear steering local pin is not installed, we cannot pressurize system A. Usually it is installed and we can pressurize both A and B. And the second clearance we need is a clearance to start the engines. Once we get that, the first officer sets the fuel panel. So here the fuel panel, if we have less than 460 kilograms of fuel in the center tank, we don't start the center tank fuel pumps. Today we have more, so we're starting all pumps. And we're making sure that the all low pressure lights are extinguished. After that, we set the hydraulic panel. As I said, if we have the nose gear steering lockout pin installed, we can uh, set both A and B systems to on. We make sure after a few seconds that the low pressure is extinguished. And we also check over here at the brake pressure to see that uh, the pressure is about 2800 
the normal number is 3000 any number about 3500 might indicate of a problem and we also check the system page over here and make sure that the pressure is above 2800 here in the simulator we can see there is a problem with system b and since it's less than 2800 at this time we have to call maintenance and ask them to fix this we will put it aside today because here in the simulator there is no maintenance to take care of that and it's probably some sort of a bug here at the simulator. After we check the hydraulic pressure, we're putting back on the secondary engine displays. The next phase will be turning on the anti-collision. So we set the anti-collision on. You can see it outside. You can see the anti-collision blinking below the aircraft. And after we set the anti-collision, the captain sets the trim. So usually we use the trim button on the stick, but here in the simulator it's not working. So the trim for the day is 5.75. Let's go and set it through the wheel. So it's 5.75. And then you have to make sure that the aileron trim and the rudder trim, both are far in here, are free and zero. So do some aileron to one side, other side, and then go back to the stick. And make sure this uh, triangle points at zero and then go back and then go back to the rudder trim do some left right make sure this triangle moves and set it back to zero now the procedure is done and the captain calls for the before start checklist the before start checklist is read by the first officer the captain answers and both crew members are verifying and checking that the right action was performed. So let's start with the before start checklist. Usually the checklist is somewhere around here. So first item, flight deck door, closed and lock. Both crew members are checking that the switch over here, as I said, is down and that the, the switch is in the auto and both lights are extinguished. Next step, first officer reads fuel. The answer for that should be 14.5 kilograms and six pumps on if you have four pumps on you should say four pumps on in case you have less than 460 kilograms in the center tank next step passenger signs and you should say on and make sure they are on over here next call is windows so we both go and make sure that the windows are locked and this is the answer locked next one is mcp first officer calls mcp and the captain reads the data v2 146 heading 183 Altitude level 60. Next call is N1 and takeoff speed. This is red for the CDU. N1 87.3, V1 144, V rotate 144, and V2 146. CDU free flight, so make sure you have legs for the pilot monitoring and takeoff ray for the pilot flying, and you declare completed. Rather an airline trim, while well, the captain checked it one second before, as I said, we checked it for freedom and for it to be zero. For the rudder, we're looking for this triangle to show zero. And for the other one, we're looking for this triangle to show zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing, as I said, it was completed. Anti-collision light above the first officer is on and before start checklist is completed. That's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for the channel. The next video is going to be about the start procedure and the before taxi procedure. Until next time, fly safe and goodbye!